Hello welcome all welcome in another important video in our socket programming course i hope you all are doing great so in our previous video we saw some options while creating new object of our server class and we also saw use cases of each one of them so in this video we will see how to authenticate any particular user if any particular user try to connect with the server because there will be a case in our project when we don't want any external user to connect to our server so in that case how we will differentiate our actual user and the person who don't have access to connect to our server so in that case we are trying to so we are going to take help of middlewares so middlewares are the concepts that node.js provides by default and in that case when any particular user wants to request on a server we check his if he has permissions to access a particular apis then only we allow them to access that so in this particular case all we need to do is we need to go inside of this index.html file and we need to provide some external headers with this io parameters so if i go inside the documentation and we need to select this client api and in that case and in that in okay inside of this options we will get to see we can actually pass external headers as a parameter so let me search we can search this extra headers right so with this way we can pass this extra headers parameter so let's quickly copy this and paste it here so you can see this is the parameter and we can pretty much pass anything here so this is completely up to us which parameter we want to pass as an extra header so let's save this and now the question is once we pass that parameter from our client file so how we will receive that on a server side so on a server side we already discuss allow request is a method that basically check your headers and decides whether that particular user will be able to connect to our server or not but let's not mess around with this there is another different way to identify whether that user should connect to our server or not so in that case we are going to take help of middlewares so let's quickly type io dot use now this is the way of creating middlewares in node.js all right so since we have this use we can pass function inside of this use so let me pass this functions we can pass arrow function as well all right now this function will have two parameters one is the socket and the second one will be the next function so now this socket will basically hold all socket related information while at the other hand next will basically take care of whether we want that flow to continue to the next step or not so let's say if we don't call this next function so in that case user will not be able to connect to our user will not be able to do any further operations right so let me go inside of this socket and let's add one console message let's say socket yes so whenever client wants to connect to user client and server both handshake on particular configs that is nothing but handshake we are trying to fetch so with this handshake will basically hold all client related information that information will also have headers which we are trying to pass from client to server so let's quickly run this and see what we get all right so our server is up and running let me connect our client using localhost port number 300 we can see hello message here that means a server is our client is connected to server and as you can see here we also received this message now this message is coming from server js and we are receiving this message from here so our middleware is working and giving us all information related to handshake 
so if we see and scroll it a little bit down we will be able to see the message we are trying to pass from client to server so this is my custom headers and if we see here we can grab that information here so basically we can pass anything as a value from client to server let's say this is the parameter or this is the password we can also pass one more header and instead of this we will say this is my custom username and we'll see this is my custom password so on a client on a server side we will accept both of these parameters so let's say if username is 1234 so we can go inside of this handshake right and we can write basic logic basic authentication logic let's say socket dot handshake and handshake will receive this parameter and if this parameter is equal to equal to 1234 also socket dot handshake of this parameter also the password is equal to equal to 1234 then in that case we will allow user to go to the next step so as we already discussed next is the function that basically controls the next flow of the middleware right and if it is not then we will simply return new error right all right so let's see this in action let me go and console it so as of now there is no message that we are trying to pass from server to client so in that case let's say we will console message itself so let's comment this handshake message and we'll copy this and let's say if uh, the server and if the username and password are correct then we will say authenticated otherwise we will say non authenticated okay so as of now we have headers with right parameters so in that case we should receive authenticated message okay so we see non authenticated and the reason being this particular username and password is inside of this headers so we'll need to use this handshake dot headers and with this way we'll be able to access our actual headers right so let me run it again so this time we received authenticated and we also received the message from our connection event right now this time let's not pass any let's not pass correct username and password and see what we get well still we are received that connected message and this is because we didn't refresh this page so let me refresh this page again and you can see we received this message saying non authenticated and as soon as we receive this message there is no further connection message or connected message right so with this way we can control which user can access our connection server and which user will not be able to access it right well certainly this is not the right way to pass a headers 
we will use json web token in our case to authenticate our users because which is the most feasible way of authenticating it right so we will see authentication and authorization using json web token but for now we just discuss the basic way of authenticating any particular user from server right so i hope you have understood this entire concept thank you very much for watching see you in the next video bye